Hello everybody, good morning, welcome. It is St George's Day and 23rd of April. So I've got in store for you today is a St George's Day quiz and word search. Now I did I did actually come live a moment ago and I was trying to show you the um, St George's Day parade that happens in Morley here in England, which is we are the most patriotic town in England because we have a huge parade. We have the uh, cricket fields are full of stalls and shows and displays and all sorts. So I did try to show you, but I don't think um, I don't think my this laptop could take the video. Well, it probably was my internet connection. Anyway, it doesn't matter anyway. So I am a little bit early today, but if you're watching on replay, then thank you for joining. Remember to share this broadcast out uh, on Twitter and anywhere else amongst your friends if they want to do this quiz. And then we've got a 15 word, 15 word word search for you as well. So the reason I'm on early today is because I'm doing other things uh, with it being St. George's Day as well. So uh, so let's make a start then. Uh, I'm just going to see who's in the chat. I know I know. I think Lynch, um, sorry, not Lynchburg. <laughs> uh, somebody did come in and I couldn't, I couldn't see who it was properly uh, whilst I was trying to sort that out. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to bring up the question on the screen. If you're taking part in this quiz, all I ask is don't put the comments in the box just yet, not until the end. OK, so it's officially half past eight, which was there we go. Knowledge. I thought it was you, knowledge. I wasn't quite sure. So sorry about the previous video. It, it, I did come live, um, but I think there was an issue with the Internet connection for playing videos on here. So I thought I'd give it a try, but it didn't work. So next year I will be at the parade and I will show you in person what the parade looks like. So don't worry for next year. OK, so question number one, then, of your St. George's Day quiz is this one. Remember, don't put the answers in the comments, um, not until we go through the answers. OK, so your first question, then, is in which country, in which country is St. George said to have been born? So that is your first question, everybody. I put on my uh, red shirt today and I've got my uh, my white T-shirt. It should be the other way around, but you know, it's got crosses on, so there you go. And I've also got my Yorkshire lad mug as well, which has got the flag on. So happy St. George's Day, everybody. Um, because it's our official day, you know, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day as well. Um, probably more than St. George's Day, but it's nice to know a little bit about our 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 traditional day. So here's the quiz for you. So number one again, in which country is St. George said to have been born? So that is your question number one. OK, question number two. I will, as I said, I'm putting the, the uh, questions in the box. So if you need to go back and check the, check the uh, questions for there. So question number two. Who did St. George replace as England's patron saint in the 14th century? So question number two, who did St. George replace as England's patron saint in the 14th century? So everyone, right, <laughs> everyone that's watching across the world, there's a big difference between England and the United Kingdom. OK, so the England is a separate country. We are a separate country, but we're part of the United Kingdom. OK, it's just that the the uh, parliament is in charge of the united kingdom which is in london which is in england okay but england in itself is a separate country <laughs> so um like because you've got england you have scotland you have wales and you have northern ireland okay they're the four countries that make up the united kingdom <laughs> okay <laughs> never mind okay it doesn't matter he's deleted it doesn't matter okay i just just like to um, put that out there because i know some people get a bit confused OK, <laughs> if you learn something new today, I'm happy with that. Um, so number two was who did St. George replace as England's patron saint in the 14th century? That was number two. Number three. OK. Is this one. Oops, I'm having to copy this from a separate. A separate web page today, so it might take me a little bit longer because it's not as friendly for me. OK, number three. OK, in addition to being patron saint of England, he is the patron of several other countries. I'm looking for four 
of these countries that he's patron saint of. So in addition to being patron saint of England, St. George is patron saint of other countries. I'm looking for four of the other countries that he's a saint of. And there's four of them. So if you get all four, you'll get four points. So have a think. It's all right, knowledge is fine. If come live last year, I did a St. George's Day quiz last year on Periscope. And guess how many viewers I got? Zero. And that was probably because it was there was a really bad connection. I'm not sure. Or maybe just people weren't interested. I don't know. But we thought we'll give it a try anyway and see what happens. Hopefully I get a few more people watching on the replay. OK, number five. OK, this is number five. OK, what animal was George said to have slain? So what animal was George said to have slain? I think that means slain. Slayed. Yes, slain. I think that's right. So that is question number four. Oh, sorry, not number four, sorry, not five. This is number five. Jump the question there. So that was a nice easy one, I think. Okay, question number five, this is number five, sorry guys. St. George is also patron of the Scout Movement, but who founded this organization? So number five, St. George is also pa patron of patron of the scout movement but who founded this organization that was number five so we've got 20 questions i should say that this is different to last year's quiz if you're wondering the quiz that i had last year okay, and question number six which English royal residence houses the St. George's Chapel? Which English royal residence houses the St. George's Chapel? OK, and that is your number six. Question number seven. It's quite a long one, this one. Okay, before which engagement, according to Shakespeare, did Henry V make the famous speech that ends, cry God for Harry, England and St. George? So before which engagement, according to Shakespeare, did Henry V make the famous speech that ends, cry God for Harry, England and St. George? And question number eight. Good questions this year. <laughs> Which medal awarded for civilian bravery has, has an inscription displaying George slaying the dragon? So which medal awarded for civili civili civilian bravery has an inscription displaying George slaying the dragon? These are really good questions. I didn't actually, I did have a brief look through these questions and I thought, you know, are they spelled correctly? That sort of thing. But these are very good. Hopefully you're enjoying this. And question number nine. Okay, why was April the 23rd chosen as St. George's Day? So why was April the 23rd ch chosen as St. George's Day? And don't just think, oh, it was because there was no other day. It's actually a good one, this one. It's similar to um, think of Jesus. Actually, yeah, think of Easter and think, no. Yeah, think of, think of Christmas, sorry. Think of Christmas. That's a clue for you. Oops, if you're not sure, on number nine. Think of why do we celebrate Christmas? OK, and question number 10. So we're halfway through. I'm just wondering if, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try this one again. If I spelt it right. 
<laughs> England, England's patron saint, and I can't even spell English today. There we go. Number 10, everybody. Um, in which country did George die? In which country did George die? But hopefully we're doing all right so far. Um, one second. And question number 11. Okay, St. George's is the capital of which Cari Caribbean island known as the Spice Island? So number 11, St. George's is the capital of which Caribbean island known as the Spice Island? And question number 12. Flying through these today, aren't we? So after this, I've got a word search of 15 English words. OK, and question number 12. So hopefully you can join me for that. So number 12, everybody. Which English playwright was born on St. George's Day and died on it 52 years later? So question number 12, which English playwright was born? Well, let me put that back on the screen. Which English playwright was born on St. George's Day and died on its 52 years later? Hello, JB. Thank you for joining. So don't put any answers in the box, not until we go through the answers. That's the number one rule, as you know. So just so you know, I know JB's, you've come in a few times, well, only once or twice, but it was a while ago. So I'll let you off this time. Cheers, everybody. Do you like the flag? Which way is it? This way? Oh, by the way, there we go. There's the flag. Oops, bring it down a bit. Do, 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 do. I was tempted to play a bit of Game of Thrones this morning, but then I tried to play the... In fact, we'll, we'll play out with a, with a song at the end. Okay, so all the um, questions are in the, in the chat box. So if you still want to take part, I will go through them. We'll go through them again anyway, with the answers anyway at the end. Okay, so that was number 12. Number 13, it's all right. <laughs> Your punishment, sir, you shall go to the, um, off with your head. I'm going. Uh, okay, number 13. In 1992, on St. George's Day, McDonald's opened up their first fast food restaurant, but in which country? In 1992, on St. George's Day, McDonald's opened up their first fast food restaurant, but in which country? <laughs> that was number 13. So either write your answers on a piece of paper or just keep them in your head until we go through the answers. Number 14. Okay, sentence to death on April the 23rd in 1969 of what crime had Sirhan Sirhan been found guilty of? So sentence to death on April the 23rd, 1969, what crime had Sirhan Sirhan, I think that's how you say it, been found guilty of? Everybody should know that one. Think of, um, I'm going to say it's 1969 and think of, I think they spelled that right. I think, no, actually I'm not. I don't know if they've got that right, the answer's on here. I'll have to double check that. don't know if it's the right name, but think of America. I think it's American. Number 15. Okay. Oh, what's going on with this today? Who, that should say who played, let me put it on the screen anyway. Who played George Russell, the lead character in the 1960s sitcom, George and the Dragon? So who, who played George Russell, the lead character in the 1960s sitcom, George and the Dragon? So good morning, John. Please don't put any comments in the box. Don't put any answers in the box yet. Not until we go through the answers. 
please. If you're just joining, that's the number one rule. I should put that right at the top. I, I need to put it on the screen, don't I? Do not put any answers in the box. I'll have that next time. I can actually do that now. I forgot, I forgot all about that. Sorry, everybody, but that's, that's just the rules. Otherwise, by the time we get to the answers, it makes it less fun. So number 16, oops, one second. So number 16 is this one. Off which South London High Street is St George's Hospital located? So off which South London High Street is St George's Hospital located? And number 17. Second. I mean, if I'm going too fast, we're going through the answers soon anyway. Question 17. St. George's Church in Hanover Square, London, is home to the annual music festival. But which composer, a regular at the church in his life, is celebrated? So St. George's Church in Hanover Square in London is home to an annual music festival. But which composer, a regular at the church in his life time, is celebrated? So... Who is celebrated? It's quite a tricky one, that one. Actually, no, I think, I think you should get that. It's a famous George, put it that way. And question number 18. Hello, Bo Adams. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the St. George's Day quiz, which I like to do every year. <laughs> I've been doing it for the last three years. So this is number three. Um, so number 18, everybody. So remember, don't put any answers in the box, not until we go through the answers in a moment. And then we've got a word search for you as well. Thank you for the, um, the uh, what's that one? <laughs> I can't see what it is. Oh, you're on a roll award. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. Thank you for joining. So we're going to, well, because you're all joining now, what I'm going to do is we'll, all the, all the questions are on the screen, okay, in the comments, in the box. So if you quickly go through them, you might be able to go through them without, with, you know, before we get to the answers. So number 18, everybody. Thank you for the uh, Super Heart Award, Eleanor, and Gail as well, the High Five Award. I do appreciate that. Number 18, everybody. Let's finish this quiz. Uh, Royal St. George's Golf Club. Royal St. George's Golf Club was home to the Open in 2011. But in which English town is it located? So Royal St. George's Golf Club was home to the Open in 2011 but in which english town is it located you are fun to do this trivia thank you dina <laughs> well i do a quiz on a monday and i do a quiz on a friday and it just so happened that the quiz on the friday is saint uh, george's day but we did a saint patrick's day quiz as well uh, last month and then that was really good but we did that on did i do that on periscope i think i did it on periscope but we do, I do all sorts. I do history quizzes, geography quizzes, uh, trivia, movie quizzes, you name it, whatever you want, I will bring it to you. And then we do a word search as well. And we do a bit of games as well, a bit of fun. Okay, did you, did I put that one on screen. Did I, thank you so much, everybody, for these awards. The Cheers Award, Appreciate Award, a High Award. I'm blown away. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Puppy cat and I say hi. Hello, Ella. Thank you for coming on. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it does say Yorkshire, lad, but it has got the, uh, we are in England, so. Now, it's telling me on the screen, sorry, just to mention this. I'm not actually in. Um, thank you for the Cheers Award. <laughs> what am I drinking? I'm drinking coffee, but I should really have some tea, shouldn't I? You was picked for Spread the Smiles. Oh, thank you, Debbie. That's amazing. I try and I think one thing you have to be positive every day. That's the biggest advice I would tell anybody is be positive, smile and smile to others and ask how people are. Somebody when if, if if you see somebody just by smiling to them and giving them a bit of happiness in their in their day can make them ten times better. That's what I'm going to say to that one. So number nineteen, everybody. We've only got two more questions and then we'll go through the answers. Okay. OK, so number 19. OK, St. George's on Bermuda was the first permanent settlement on the island and was the island's capital. 
but which city replaced it as the capital in 1815? So St. George's on Bermuda was the first permanent settlement on the island, and it was the island's capital. And which city replaced it as, um, sorry, which city replaced it as capital in 1815? Uh, Sweepy says, hi, we're here, to, we're here to spread the smiles. Follow me to see my broadcast, how it works. I think I'm following you, Sweet Pea, but everybody please follow Sweet Pea. What I'm also going to do for you is I'm going to add that hashtag. In fact, maybe could I could I add it right now? I don't know if I can add it right now. Spread the smiles. One second, everybody. And remember to share out. Yeah, I can put it right at the top. Spread the smiles. One second. Hashtag. I'm going to put it in my title and I will add it to my tags as well. Uh, but remember to share, subscribe, and um, you can say we send awards, which is amazing. Uh, and let me just find the hashtag. One second. Hashtag on here. Oh, well, there isn't a hashtag. Oh, that's a bit weird. I don't know what the number is. I'm going to have to, I will add it on. I don't know where it is. Oh, wait, no. Usually it's on the screen, but sorry, everybody. I'm just, <laughs> I want to add this. I can't find the hashtag on my keyboard. It's moved. But I will add it on afterwards. All right, guys. So I will add it on afterwards. That's really strange. Anyway, let's finish this quiz. I'm sorry. I will add it on though. I will. I promise. I promise. Let me. Um, oh wait, no. Can I actually, no, I found it. I found it. What was it again? <laughs> Spread the smiles. I'm adding it to the actual tags. Spread the smiles. Is it spread the smiles? But anyway, so everybody. Uh, da, 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 da. Happy Earth Day. Yes, spread the smiles. I've done it. It should be on there now. Spread the smiles. I've got it. It should be in the tags now. Right, okay. And we come to the final question, everybody. Yep, final question. This is a nice, easy one. Nice, easy one. Question 20. Yeah, I think I've got it right. I'll just double check that in a second. So the last question, everybody. Which, what is the colour of the cross on the flag of St. George. There might be a little bit of a clue just there. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sweet Pea. Thank you so much for coming in. I think I've done that right, yeah. Smiles. Yeah, that should be on now. That should be on my tags. I will add it afterwards if it doesn't come straight through. <laughs> Yellow, I'm drunk. <laughs> Cheers, Bo. Cheers. OK, so that is your end of the quiz, everybody. We're now going to go through the answers. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. OK, so uh, remember to share this broadcast, which uh, does help me so much um, supporting my channel because um, I do cooking as well. I do quizzes. We do games. and and keep keeps the positivity and gives you it keeps you all engaged as well so let's go through the questions then so question number one i won't bring up the question again on the screen i'll just go through the answer so you get one point for each correct answer so number one in which country is saint george said to have been born you can put in the answers now in the comments if you want to do that so that was your first question so in which country is saint george said to have been born the correct answer was Roman Palestine. Roman Palestine. Okay, question number two. Who did St. George replace as England's patron saint in the 14th century? It was Edward the Confessor and St. Edmund. If you put Edward the Confessor, give yourself one point. If you put St. Edmund, give yourself one point. If you put both answers, Give yourself two points. OK, so if you've got Edward the Confessor and St. Edmund like together, give yourself two points. OK, there was four points up for grabs for number three. So in addition to being patron saint of England, St. George is patron of several other countries. Which four of these countries is he saint of? So which four countries? Was, is St. George said to have been 
patron saint of, other than England? So you get one point for each one. Any guesses in the chat? Both saying the Philippines. Any other guesses? So there's four points up for grabs. I'll give you a clue. Okay. Um, oh, I can't think of any clues really. They are European countries. Okay, so give yourself one point for each of these. So one point for Portugal, another point for Greece, third point for Bulgaria, and the fourth, fourth point for Romania. So if you put any of those, give yourself one point. So Portugal, Greece, Bulgaria, and Romania. And obviously, if you got all four, well done. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a clap award. I'm joking. Um, number four, everybody. What animal was George said to have slain? You were so close, Bo. You were so close. So number four, what animal was George said to have slain or slayed? I don't know if the correct English for that, but I should know, shouldn't I? <laughs> number four, it was a dragon. What animal was George said to have slayed? It was, of course, a dragon. And question number five. St. George is also patron of the Scout Movement, but who founded this organisation? I think they celebrated over 100 years of the Scouts, I think. Was it two years ago? Three years ago? So I wasn't looking for the year. I was looking for who founded the organisation. It was Robert Baden Powell. So Robert Baden Powell. So well done if you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> and question number six, which English royal residence houses the St. George's Chapel? So which English royal residence houses the St. George's Chapel? Now, this, this place was on the uh, TV last week for, for um, Sir Prince Philip's funeral. It was, of course, Windsor Castle. Windsor, well, no, actually, I don't think it was at Windsor Castle, was it? But it, it was it, it was in Windsor. It was so the English royal residence houses is Windsor Castle. And question number seven, before which engagement, according to Shakespeare, did Henry V make the famous speech that ends, cry God for Harry, England and St. George? The answer was the Siege of Harfleur. The Siege of Harfleur. It was a month before Agin, Ag Agincourt. Agincourt. I've heard of that, but I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't really do a lot of history and that sort of thing. But um, that was the correct answer to number seven. The Siege of Harfleur. Okay, and number eight. Okay, which medal awarded for civil civilian bravery has an inscription displaying George slaying the dragon? Which medal awarded for civilian bravery has an inscription displaying George slaying the dragon? You're very close, Bo. You're very close. It was, of course, the George Cross. The George Cross. And question number nine. Okay, why was April the 23rd chosen as St. George's Day? So number nine, why was April the 23rd chosen as St. George's Day. I gave you a clue when you say, think about Christmas. It was, the answer was he, be, he was believed he had died on this day. Now, if you put the year, you thought he died, which I didn't really ask, but if you put the year by any chance, give yourself an extra point. It was 303. So he was believed to have died in 303. I won't make fun of bravery medals. <laughs> you could do what you like, but I'm not too bad. <laughs> no, but true. And um, there is a lot of um, respect for, for those that have, have earned the medals. And what, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to get political with things, but you know, it does frustrate me when people don't see that anymore and don't have the respect anymore. Okay. Um, and question number 10. Okay. In which country did George die? So in which country did St. George die? It's a place I've been to. There's a clue for you. It was, of course, Turkey. 
So he believed to have died in Turkey. I believe he was actually from Syria, believe it or not, if I'm correct. But in which country did George die? It was Turkey. Although it says here, although he was buried in Palestine. And question number 11. What time is it where you are, Bo? <laughs> is it midnight there or is it early hours in the morning? Question number 11. St. George's is the capital of which Caribbean island, known as the Spice Island or Car Caribbean? We say Caribbean. It was Grenada. So St. George's is the capital of Grenada. And number 12. Two minutes to one o'clock. Wow. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying this and I'm keeping you engaged because I know whenever you go live, you know there's always going to be people watching around the world who, you know, it's very, very late or they might have been out drinking, you know, or drinking right now. And hopefully, you know, I'm doing myself justice here. <laughs> so number, number, it, number, yes, yeah, so it was Grenada. Well, that one. The which English playwright was born on St. George's Day and died on it 52 years later. And it's actually his birthday today. It is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was the correct answer, number 12. Number 13, in 1992, on St. George's Day, McDonald's opened up their first fast food restaurant. But in which country? In which country? In 1992, it was, of course, China. Number 14, sentenced to death on April the 23rd, 1969, of what crime had Sirhan Siran been found guilty of? So I was a bit tricky with this one. I think this is the answer. Well, I'm certain this is the answer, but the answer I've got here was the assassination of Robert Kennedy. So number 14 was the assassination of Robert Kennedy. I always thought it was, I'm thinking of somebody else, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm right. John F. Kennedy, is that the same person? Maybe that was his middle name. I'm not, or maybe, I don't know. Not sure. And number 15, who played George Russell, the lead character in the 1960s sitcom George and the Dragon? Good question, this. <laughs> it was Sid James, of course, the, the famous Sid James. If you put the dragon's name as well, give yourself an extra point, which was Peggy Mount. And number 16, off which South London High Street is St. George's Hospital located? Of which South London High Street is St. George's Hospital located? It is Tooting High Street. Was it really? I didn't know. He was. was he assassinated as well? I never knew that. Wow. I need to do some research, don't I? Thank you for that, but I didn't. I, I kind of thought knew it was the same family, but I thought it might have been the same same person. But I didn't know that. That's interesting. We always talk about John, don't we, and things. Okay, number seventeen. We've only got four more left. Saint George's Church in Hanover Square in London is home to an annual music festival. But which composer, a regular at the church in his life, is celebrated? Did you all guess this one? Hopefully you got this one. If you put Handel, that's fine. I can't nail it. No, if you put George Frederick Handel, then it's still one point, I'm afraid. So Handel, if you put Handel, H-A-N-D-E-L, it was the correct answer. But full, full name was George Frederick Handel. If you put his full name, take, take um, as your reward the fact you got that and you knew that. It's a bit like the question, what is pi? P-I. Now, when the question that came up at school and he said, if anybody knows what pi is, the full number, they were going to buy me an iPad. So I went away and learnt it, if in case I ever needed to know. It. And it's 3.14159265. There you go. <laughs> Just a little bit of random knowledge there. Anyway, it doesn't matter about me. Number 19. Royal St. George's Golf Club was home to the Open in 2011. I think it's a golfing tournament. Yeah, golf. In which English town is it located? 
So Royal St. George's Golf Club was home to the Open in 2011. But in which English town is it located? It is, of course, Sandwich, which is in Kent. So if you put Sandwich, well done. If you put Kent, I'll give you the point. Just one point, there, I'm afraid. And number 19, St. George's on Bermuda was the first permanent settlement on the island and was the island's capital. But which city replaced it as the capital in 1815? So number 19, St. George's on Bermuda was the first permanent settlement on the island and was the island's capital. But which city replaced it as capital in 1815? Yeah, 3.14 indeed. <laughs> well done if you got 19. It was, of course, Hamilton. And then we've come to our final question of the St. George's Day quiz. And hopefully you're going to join me for the word search. It won't take too long. I can't be on too long anyway this morning. So, well, yeah, this morning. <laughs> Number 20, nice, easy question. What colour is the cross on the flag of St. George? So I might have given you a little bit of a clue. Where is it? This way. I'm not in Tin Twistle, by the way. I don't even know where that is. I am in England, so I live in Leeds, by the way. You probably all know that I live in Leeds, which is in the north of England. Big, big city. And it was, of course, red. Red is the answer. Son did a semester in Leeds and he liked it. Did he go to Leeds University or did he go to... Um, like one of the colleges or there's loads there's building there's loads of campuses in leeds now <laughs> we've got the university we've got the um, beckett's beckett's university as well which used to be the metropolitan university that got the business leeds business school law school uh medical schools all sorts there yep yeah. <laughs> it's technology campuses oh there's just anything you want to learn you know you, it, leeds is the place it's just so many students now you have the best time as I get older, I'm, I'm like, all these students are coming to Leeds and it's like, I feel old. Um, OK, so that's the quiz, everybody. So hope mark your score sheet if you've been making, keeping track of your scores. Um, there was quite a few in there that are extras. So I'm guessing it's probably out of probably about 25, 26. So because um, some had extra points on there. So well done. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not really, am I? But, um, okay, so that's the quiz. Now we're going to do a word search. So I have a word search for you. So hopefully this is going to work well. Uh, I'm going to, what I do is I'm going to take myself off the screen. I'm going to bring up a present box. And hopefully you shall see this in a second. It's going to make it a bit smaller as I usually do, and bring this. I'll take myself off the screen, OK? You'll just see the flag in a second. There you go. And let's bring this up. So this is your word search for today. Let me just move this across. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the wrong one there. One second. Hopefully that's going to move. Sometimes it moves, sometimes it doesn't. Just a second. There you go. Perfect. Do I need to bring that down a bit? Yes, I do. Not too much, though. OK, if we're ready, then, guys, this is your St. George's Day word search. So if you're watching me on portrait mode, switch to landscape. And you'll see the screen a lot clearer with the words. So we've got the words George, dragon. Let me zoom in a bit as well. I can zoom in a bit. There you go. It's a lot better, isn't it? So we're looking for these words. Let me check the comments. I can't see the comments. So if you see a word, let me know where it is. OK. So we've got George, we've got dragon. Oh, it would help if I actually clicked on the actual uh, search. Um, 
one second. I don't know if, yeah, it would help if I actually brought up the word search, wouldn't it? Sorry, everybody. Let me try again. There we go. So if you see a word, let me know in the screen. I'm gonna to have to zoom back out. Sorry about this. Actually, I can bring it down. There we go. I will zoom out so you can see. So, Bo, if, you, if you're taking part, just if you see a word, let me know. We'll go, right, let's make a start then. There we go. That's perfect. So we've got England. We've got George, Dragon, Knight, Tea, Queen, Fish and Chips, the NHS, Weather, Sword, Armour, Horse, Princess and King. So I found Sword. Okay, let's look for Queen. So if you see a word, just let me know where it is. Oh, I found armor. Princess, there you go. I think we're gonna get through these very fast today. So this was a really quick word search that I put together. So, you know, some of them are sort of more common English words now, as we as and others are sort of medieval which is what you think of when you think of St. George. Let's look for T. This is actually quite tricky on my own. <laughs> so if you are watching, we usually stay on here for about an extra, usually the word search is about 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't take too long. I found King. Found NHS. Big shout out to them for what they've done over this last year. Two years, well, forever really, you know, they, but more so over the last year. I think next week, what I'm going to do is we won't do the word search next week. We'll do something different and then we can always come back to the word search in a couple of weeks and obviously I need to once because now lockdown's coming to an end I think I'm only going to be doing a quiz on on a process I like Fridays I do like Fridays it gets you ready for the weekend because I think Mondays won't be a thing anymore I won't be able to do Mondays I'm hoping not to do Mondays anymore but we can always I can always come on an, on an evening well I can't really come on an evening but month, Fridays seem a good day to do these. I can't find any of these today. <laughs> Even my favourite food, fish and chips, where is it? Fish and chips. Oh, I found it, fish and chips. Whoops. Sorry, there you go, fish and chips. Remember, you can always take a screenshot of the word search before and Print out yourself and do it yourself at home if you want to do that. Oh, I thought I, thought I found T. It was a queen. Do you know, it's been a very English week, I should say, because we had National Tea Day, then we had the Queen's birthday, and now it's St. George's Day. 
So the Queen was 95 yesterday. I know it wasn't. Yeah, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Or Wednesday? It was definitely this week. But the Queen does have two birthdays. I can't find Queen. Can anybody find it? You probably already found it, and I'm looking around on. <laughs> I think last week we did the word search, 15 words in 650 seconds, wasn't it? So that was about 11 minutes. Is that right? No, it's not right. It's more than that, isn't it? This is tough today. I think usually because I have your help. I found Queen. There we go. Long live the Queen. Okay, where's horse? Horse. Oh no. Horse. Okay, weather. Where's weather? There we go, that's weather. And T, T E A. If you've not watched my broadcast back the other day, I made scones and we did real Betty's tea, Taylor's of Harrogate tea. It was, oh, it was amazing. Tea. But another word for tea is we, we call tea not just a cup of tea, but we have tea as in our meal is our tea, usually on an evening. So our evening meal is also up north is tea. Oh, excuse me, that was my belly. Oh, there we go, there's tea. So we've got four more left. Nice, easy one today. We've got night. And we go, there's night. And there we've got dragon. Oh, I'm finding them straight away now. George, there's George. And England to finish off with. England, where is England? Are you still there, Bo? Or are you? Have you decided? Have you disappeared? You might have fallen asleep. <laughs> and there's England. I wonder what colour it's going to be. Will it be red? Ah, oh, it's blue. Never mind. And there you go. So 457 seconds. OK, so that concludes the quiz and the word search. Oops, I'll give myself on the screen. Oh, I never knew I could do that. Of course, yeah, I could have brought myself on. So thank you all for watching. I am going to just, I wonder if I can um, find, I wonder if this is going to work. It might go off, hopefully not, though. I'm going to play you some English or traditional Actually, in, um, in the English, um, what's the what I'm looking for? Changing of the guard, something like that. Hopefully this is going to work. But if it doesn't, don't worry. Hopefully I can play this. So let me just get rid of this a moment. Actually, I don't know if I can change this straight away. Just to finish. All right, one second, everybody. Ah. No, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, one second. Okay, let me put you on, it's on full screen. And then <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Let's take myself off. Swap this over. I'm still, here we go. So I'm going to finish off with this one, everybody. Here we go. Thank you for watching.
don't know if you can hear the sound. Here we go. Well, there you go, everyone. So I'm going to turn that off. Thank you all for watching. So thank you all for watching, everybody. Take care. Thank you for joining the quiz. I don't know if you could hear that or not. So but I thought I'd leave you with that. So have a great day, everybody. Take care. I might be on later cooking. We don't know. I'll see.